Hey everyone, in the last lesson we discussed the spaces and we discussed uh, the spaces inside the rooms in Dialex Evo. Now we are going to discuss another feature inside the construction tab of Dialex Evo. So as you remember we discussed the uh, spaces. Now as you can see we have two more uh, tabs here. One of them is the room elements which are representing the columns which can be added to the rooms. Of course, this is something which is related more to the, uh, this one is related to the architecture engineer, not to the electrical engineer. So it has its own certain calculations, so we will, and beams, so we will neglect all of this stuff, okay? Also, we have here roofs, which you can add it to, if it is the last floor, you can add also a roof and also it is not related to electrical engineers. So it's not important in the lighting uh, calculations. Now the feature which we would like to discuss in this lesson is the ceilings. So as you know that inside um, the building, inside the floors, we have a ceiling. If we look at the 3D form of the building like this. As you can see, we have here a ceiling, concrete uh, ceiling, right? As you can see here. Now, this ceiling is the uh, ceiling of the uh, building or the ceiling of each floor, okay? Now, as you know that there are uh, some types of uh, rooms or sometimes of uh, uh, floors which have a suspended ceiling. Okay, or sometimes we have suspended uh, lumineers. So as you can see here, for example, this is a photo of a room. And as you can see, there is an extra layer of ceiling, right? This ceiling. Now we add the lumineers here, for example. So this extra layer of ceiling reduces the height. The height here reduces this height at which from the luminaire or from the luminaires to the ground, okay? So this means that we need to add the, this ceiling for more accurate results, okay? Another example, if you have uh, air ducts, for example, as you can see the luminaires here, okay? This is, of course, suspended luminaires. This can be added, of course, to the Dialex program. But assume that we have an extra ceiling under the original ceiling and we attach to it or add to it the uh, surface mounted uh, lumineers. Okay, so in this case, we should add this extra layer of ceiling. Another one like here, we have an extra layer of ceiling. Above this uh, ceiling, there is uh, air ducts, for example, or HVAC ducts. So this uh, lumineer, the distance from lumineers to the ground, is less than the distance from ground to the original ceiling. Okay, so how can we add this to the Dialex program? Now let's see our floor. And let's say we would like to add a ceiling, uh, another ceiling to the office. Okay, so as you remember that each, um, the, the height of the room itself from the ground to the ceiling is three meters. So we would like to add an extra layer of ceiling extra layer of ceiling of 0.5 meter as an example. So how can I do this? Simply as you can see in the ceilings tab, you will find insert ceiling into room. So click on it and you will find which room you would like to select. So you would like entrance, stairs, ACD to DC room, whatever you would like to select. So as an example, we said we would like to have an, another ceiling or another layer of ceiling in the office. So if I click on the office like this, you will find that here when we select the office like this, you will find this is an extra layer of ceiling. This one has a ceiling void or the, the layer or the ceiling uh, height. This extra ceiling is 0.3 meter. So what does this mean? It means that the distance from this ceiling to the ground is 2.67. There is also the ceiling thickness of 0.03, okay? So if you would like to see this in uh, 2D form or 3D form, like this. 
So as you can see, if we go like this, you will find here this ceiling. Okay, this is an extra ceiling. So as you can see, the distance here, this distance is um, a point or three. Uh, let's see exactly here in ceilings this one as you can see the ceiling void or this distance this distance this small distance is uh, 0.3 okay this distance so here as an example if i make it one meter to understand the idea one meter for example okay like this you will find here this void increased right so if we look into our room like this you will find that the height from here from this ceiling to the uh, ground from ceiling to the ground is what is uh, 1.97 okay 1.97 remember that uh, 1.97 what where did we get this this distance is equal to this distance plus 0.03 which is the ceiling thickness it is the ceiling itself has a small thickness of 0.03 and we have the void which is the ceiling itself the distance of the ceiling is one meter so one meter plus 0.03 of the thickness plus 1.97 which is this uh, distance gives us three meter of the height from the ground to the original ceiling okay so as you can see we have here an extra layer okay and from in this layer, you will find that we attach the luminaires. We add the luminaires here in the second ceiling. So the luminaires will have a distance or a height from here to here, from this new ceiling to the ground. Okay. If we don't have this ceiling, then we will have distance from the original one here, from the highest point to the ground, which is the three meters. Okay. So this is how can you add a ceiling to the um, Dialex program. So as an example, 0.5. Okay, let's make it 0.5 meters. Like this. So as you can see, this one is a 0.5. Okay, so this is an extra layer of ceiling. Let's go inside the room. Like this. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's make it like this. Okay. Zoom in. Okay, like this. So as you can see, this is the ceiling. Here's the new ceiling to the ground. This ceiling to the ground is 2.47. It's a height. So this is the height which our luminaires will see. Okay. So this is how this lesson is how to add an extra ceiling to the uh, AutoCAD file or the Dialex program, okay?